Well, how do the chums? I'm back, and you can see I'm back with Nada. Now, if you didn't watch this first episode of how I got this mission started and picked up the tech, and if you don't mind spoilers when it comes to lore, um, hit on at my previous video over there. But if you do, if you don't like spoilers to lore, you probably best not to watch this one because I'm actually doing the lore missions right now. So now I'm going to ask about the blueprint. Let's hit up the blueprint. Let's jump on over into game and see what he says. Impressive traveler entity. It's fast to gain construct entity's trust. This is a useful memory print. Ask about her. Friend entity. I'm sorry. If Nada understands construct entity's meaning, Nada does not wish to discuss it. Why not? Fudge and hack. Okay, discuss next steps. Nada's opinion is limited, but Nada will share what they have. Builder entities value this purple lattice. Construct entity responds. Even Nada's carpus responds. Other electronics may respond too. Very cool. And builder entities do not seem dangerous. Data comes from time together. Friendship may too. Okay, cool. They might be friends. Lovely. It's traveler's entity's choice. Both are valid. It's not either or or. All right, cool, yeah. Nice to know that these little autophages are friends. I didn't know whether we'd be ditching the anomaly and seeking audience with the Void Mother or something. But then again, he still doesn't want to talk about it, does he, Nardi? He doesn't want to talk about the Void Mother. How freaking weird. Anyway, let's head on off to my ship and let's continue on with this adventure. Lovely jobs. Let's take on off and let's fly on out. So yeah, I'm going to be using my Sentinel ship for this one, I think, people. Learn more about the autophages, complete prayers of the machine, and the audience with the autophage to proceed. Change active mission from the log. Great. Okay, let's go to the log then, because it looks like there's two missions to this one, people. So, construct his search to who's returned, prayer of the machine, and audience with the autophage. Okay, which one do I want to do first then? Let's um, try prayers of the machine then, I guess. Let's do that. Present Atlantium to Electronic Heart and notes of the response. Summon the space anomaly uh, to scan for Atlantium sensitive processors. All right, I was just in the space anomaly. They could have done that while I was bloody in there, couldn't they? All right, fine, we'll go back in there then. And we'll do that part. But who's going to do that for me? Perhaps the construct? Who freaking knows? We go in and we'll find on out, people. So yeah, I guess it depends which mission you hit up first, but we're doing this one then. All right, prayers of the machine. That's what we're doing this episode, people. Lovely. And let's see what happens then. So scan the space anomaly. Really? Okay, scan the space anomaly. Done. What the fudge? Callback simulation CPU. Something just appeared on the actual... Okay, that was not... I, I didn't expect that. All right, let's, uh, let's head on over then. And it looks like it's coming from the old room where we put in Artemis. Oh, this is getting stranger and stranger, people. How deep does this rabbit hole go? Let's head on in then. Let's go and hit on up this plat. This plaque here. Lovely. Coolio. Nada entity. Authorization required. Secondary simulation running. Yeah, we, we've seen this before. The machine is ancient and powerful. A relic of a world long since destroyed. The salvaged hardware has been restored to near pristine condition. The software lovingly maintained. Reveal Lantium. Searching secondary simulation five. Okay. Searching. Match found. Planetary body identified. Okay, this is interesting. A load of binary. Okay, Coolio. We got some more lantium. I put lantium in, I got lantium out. Mm, that's interesting, isn't it? All right, now what? Use echo locate. No, that's not part of the mission. That's not part of the mission at all. Let's hit on up prayers on the machine. Present a lantium to the electronic heart. And note its response. Scan for Atlantium sensitive processes from space. Okay, well, I don't know what the Atlantium heart is. Are you the Atlantium heart? I guess you're not. All right. The electronic heart. Well, where, the, where the fudge is the electronic heart when it's at home? Okay. It's not this guy, is it? All right, well, I guess we're flying out into space. Strange. Stranger and stranger as things go. Okay, where's my blanking ship gone? Where is it? Where's my ship? Oh, it's all the way over there. Okay, cool. I didn't take note of where I landed this time, people. And it looks like the emote is almost unlocked as well. It's doing quite well over there. And anyway, let's hit up the ship. Let's fly on out. Let's see what's going on then. From space or planetary surface. 
All right, cool. Let's do that then. Fly on out into the atmosphere. Present a lantium to the electronic heart. I don't know what the electronic heart is. Meow, meow. Scan. Boom. I'm scanning now. Scan and recharging. Okie dokie. Electronic processing unit has been identified. Let's go there then. Okay. All right. All right. Two hours to get there. We've reduced that to 30 seconds almost instantaneously. Let's jump on over. So, people, you know I'm quite a fan of the law, so I'm kind of enjoying all of this sort of stuff. I mean, the Void Mother references, and to hear that we've, all, we've already got traces of the Void just by going into portals is news to me, which is quite cool. So we're heading down to a factory operation CPU right now, people. Let's just jump back into game, because we're only like two seconds away. Great, we just got um, probed by something. Let's just get down to the atmosphere as quickly as possible before they actually send in the communique and try to complete... Oh, great. There we go. Um, refuse to comply. No, there you go. Have some gra, gra Yeah, I knew that would happen. All right, fine. We're just going to touch down here. We run indoors and hopefully that... Why weren't they happy with gra, gra Everyone should be happy with gra gra gra, gra is freaking awesome. All right, people. We're heading in then. Let's head on into this uh, facility. Have I got to shoot the doors off? Or can I just walk in? Is that a lock? It is a lock. All right, fine. Let's um, let's uh, no, not that one. We'll do this one on it. There we are. This, this isn't my attack multi tool. I could swap multi tools, but I'll be swapping it back again fairly shortly for um, for scanning and all that sort of shenanigans. Let's just head on in then. All right, Cordio. Uh, let's see if giving an alantium to this thing does something amazing then alarms protest blah de, blah de, blah unauthorized personnel detected please verify credentials relief really, yeah give some of that the verifying so to do this you might want to get a freaking bucket load of alantium ver 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 verifying go on retrieving credentials manufacturing protocol undefined execution failed execution failed execution failed right there Load of binary. Done, dilly and done. And I got an Atlantium back. Uh, okay. Defeat, evading... No, I'm, I'm not going to do that. Praise of... Okay, Sentinel Forces. Scan for Atlantium. Atlantium. Okay. All right, fine. We're going to have to evade these Sentinels. Let's do that. Let's just get away from... Meow. Have I got my cloaking device? No, not in this one I don't. All right, well, let's just leg it then. Bam, 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 bam. I'm going to have that. I'm going to have some oxygen. Nice. Hello there, giant Triceratops. You're right, Triceratops. Ah, oh, don't block my way. I'm running away from Sentinels right now, Triceratopsians. Meow. Head all the way over this way. Come on. They should have gone to search in like freaking ages ago. Um, can I swap multi tools on the fly? Because I could do with my cloaking device by the looks of things, people. There we are. Cloaking device. Activate. There we are. Sentinels are now searching. Now run like the freaking wind, Captain Steve, because you haven't got long. They can't. They should be miles away from me. They shouldn't be able to detect me now. I'm like freaking yards away from them. Right, some damaged tech over here. Looks like we're going to run out of our. Yeah, detected again. For fudge's sake. Okay, it didn't even drop down one level. Right, well, we get, we get that back all the way up. Let's just jump all the way over here then. Why is it not losing track of where I am? The Sentinel shouldn't be able to track me all this way. This is mental. This has never happened before. Is the game broken? Oh, no, look, it's nine seconds now. This is good. This is a bit better. Run like the freaking wind. Let's just try and put some distance between me and them. Hopefully it's going to drop down to one star. There we go. Sentinels have deactivated. Cool. Now I can scan for Atlanteans. Let's do that then. <clears throat> I don't know whether there's going to be much around here. Okay, electronic processing unit discovered. Got a bit of a dry throat. Need to go get a drink or something and get another tea. Okay, where is that then? Is that off planet? It is, isn't it? Great. Okay, let's cool down my ship. Let's face it the way we want to go. And let's get in it and let's fly there. Atlantium sensitive unit is detected. Okay, that, that text disappeared before I could read it all, people. All right, well, let's, uh, let's take on off and let's just hope that that text reforms itself at some point. And to gravity, well, not quite there yet. Cool. Let's uh, fly off planet. Come on. And initiate pulse. Now, Okay, we're heading towards the station. Interesting, interesting. Begin docking. Heck yours. Station CPU. 
Let's do this, people. Let's do this. I don't know how long each of these missions are. But you know what? It's a welcome addition. I guess it is. I don't really want to do it all at once. That's the problem. I kind of want to stretch it out a bit. But, you know, I'm away this weekend for the Guildford meetup. So I'm going to put these videos all unlisted and just schedule them to go while I'm gone, you know? So why the fudge not? Might as well just play the heck out of this now. And hopefully by the time I get back, at least, you know, things have carried. Right, oh, let's head on over to the station CPU. And we're going to... Gonna present some Atlantium to this. Life support system stable, blah de blah. All the normal stuff. Reveal Atlantium. There you go. Geological material detected. Analyzing, analyzing. Planetary coordinates not indexed. Solar system not indexed. Unable to establish trade link. Unable to plot flight path. Okay. Load of digits. Okie dokie. Um, scan to locate processes in the in the station in the station i don't know unit personal starship enter your cockpit to test for the effects of atlantium it's even affected my starship what the actual fudge okay well let's jump on in then let's see what that's all about okay my cockpit is configuring familiar okay i take a moment to sit back Run my fingertips over the dashboard. The sensors and controls gently light up as my hand passes over them. Though responding to the presence of an old friend. Reveal Lantian. Void is detected. Loads of code. We probably could decipher that code. I probably could. Okay, she is near. Unabidden, the ship computer launches a navigational sequence. The control so responsive. Just moments ago. Ignore my input entirely. Calibrating navigation systems. Searching for void trace. Searching. Searching. Destination unknown. Destination unknown. Destination Kazert. Mm, located. Oh, do I really want to go? The void mother. Atlantium source detected. Destination question mark, question mark, question mark. New Atlantid. Question mark, question mark, question mark. So this is probably why Sean used crypt question marks for his blinking emoji drop. I did not request this search. Did the ship perform this on its own accord, judging with its own artificial intelligence? Or is this influence of some external will contained within the Atlantium crystals themselves? Either way, I feel compa com compelled to investigate this Atlantium source. Yeah, I do and I don't, mate. I do and I don't. I do and I don't. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous, to be honest, and that's never happened. Well, it's happened, but just not for freaking ages. Activate pulse drive to search. Oh, dear. Am I going to come face to face with the Void Mother? What is the Void Mother? Ah, oh, man. I don't think we're going to get the Void Mother. Well, we could. You know, Hello Games could have put this in there as a little, little mini secret or something. Okay, it's one of these. All right, fine. Okay, cool. All right, cool. Right, so we've got a load of code again. Probe the structure. Get on probing. A decay transmission reaches my com communicator. The ancient audio pops and hisses, but the voices that it speaks are unmistakably Corvax. Corvax Prime Disaster Pod. Log of refugee entity Kizim, Kizimo. Okay. Day zero, I close my eyes, but I cannot close my mind. Deafening millions of Kazert screams deafen this entity. All entities, a great disconnection. EU, we will never see home again. Day one, the link is frayed. This entity feels distant. Distant from its convergence here. Other entities aboard say the same. The screams, even in silence, we cannot hear one another's thoughts. We are so afraid. Day five, this entity, my thoughts fill. Private, privately my thoughts, Kazert. These junkyard moons, the rumours true. Everything is shattered. I do not know what to believe. I have not been told what to, Kazert. Day 10. Crystals growing. Day question mark. Who is stowing away in our minds? Even now, even here. Cause fragment, cause Atlas savers. Save, cause screaming out to the Atlas. The electronic voices shakes with fear. I feel uncomfortable listening to these words that seem so personal, so desperate. The ancient logs crackle, the decayed tape reaching the end of its retrievable data. Yet even though the static, I hear change of tone in the in the final audible word. The voice is no longer fearful. It's defiant. Oh, shite. Okay, cool. Adler! 
acts in a defiant tone. Extract. Okay. Do I blow this thing up now? That's what I usually do, and it gives me a load of stuff. I want the stuff. Give me some stuff. Yeah, it feels wrong to blow up the stuff, blow it up, but it is, it's getting blown up because it's going to give me a radiant shard and sometimes some elantium, which, as you know, we need quite a lot of that stuff. So you know, it's it's, it's just happened. Learn more about the autophage. Complete the aut okay audience with the autophage now. I guess we've done that one then, have we? I guess that one's done. We've done that one. Okay, so now we're moving on to audience with the autophage. Sweet. Attach the constructs. Oh, I've already done it. Um, I need to swap my multi-tool out, don't I? All right, how do I swap my multi-tool while I'm in a blinking ship? I can't, can I? Okay, well, let's just jump back into the old Nexus and swap our multi-tools. If I can swap multi-tools in the Nexus, I think I can. Uh, I might not be able to. I might have to go down to a planet. Well, we will see, though, people. Let's head on in. Let's get that one underway. All right, my phone just vibrated. Let me just see what that is. It's probably good old ricey or something. Rice is at work right now, so you can't really enjoy this. It is ricey. <laughs> jump, jump to a pirate system, says says Gunboat. Yeah, done that, done that, ricey. Done it, done it, mate. <laughs> All right, okay. Let's jump on out of the ship then. And let's see if we can swap my multi-tool here. I don't know whether I can. Uh, I can. Okay, let's go back to that one then. There we are. Done. Now it should recognise that I've got the technologies. Let's uh, fly on out. Enter an autophage site. All right. The polygraphic core can detect autophages from long distance. Open the multi-tool inventory and select resonance. Okay. All right. Multi-tool. Here. Move technology. Locate autophage camp. Remote autophage. It even works in space. You're having a laugh. I thought I would have had to go to a planet, but that just, that's just so freaking good. All right, well, let's go then. Has <laughs> that found a camp? That's an easy way to find camps. If that found a camp, that's that's freaking spot on, mate. All right, well, let's let's go there. Let's 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 do this then. Well, that was that was quicker and easier than I thought it would be. Okay, well, we've only got a couple of seconds. I was just about to swap my screen then. But let's head on down to the here and let's see what we've found. If it's a campsite, that's freaking nice. Ace. Hopefully I can do it outside the storyline. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Okay. Um, what's it found? Okay. Oh, fudging heck. What did I hit? It bounced me all over the shop. I hate it when it does that. All right, let's land here then. But before, you could end up getting stuck in the planet. So, you know, it is what it is. Sweet, so we've arrived at Kated here. I don't see anything right now, but do I have to press in the scan button and will something magic itself here? Oh, it's like magic. Okay, right, okay, so it's popped us up into the air, popped us back down again. Boom, boom. Oh, fudge, I think I'm stuck. No, that's not me, that's good. All right, sweet. Well, I wish there wasn't a storm here right now, people. Let's just hope it zooms in so we can see these guys in all their glory. He's a one-eyed cyclopsy one. Oh, I haven't got enough freaking standing yet. Okay, let's practice the language. Hello, mate. He mechanical eyes. Watch me as I consider my request. Okay, request dialect help. Here we go. Yes, I'd like to learn a word. Yeah, one of those symbols, please. Okay, so we can learn words. Let, let's let's give him some. Um, let's give him some of the other autophagy stuff now. There you go. Have some of that. He seems happy. Are not many autophage. Are many. Are in. I, I still can't learn enough of your words, though, buddy. Sweet. Well, he's visited. Let's go to this guy. Hello there, chap. Well, I'm up in my standing with these guys. Have some of that. Have some elantium. Run through the autophage. Rat and they're cobbled together frame. Limbs of scrap. Quite like that one. It's quite cool. Shell of the mother. Okay. Wish friendship disruptor is possible. Our society's cooperation work to be done. Okay, I, I contribution. There you go. The life seems amused by my clumsy pronunciation of their language, but appreciated of the effort. Regaining composure, they nod solemnly and present me with a briefing on a task I might assist with. We've got one of the procedural missions. Brilliant. Okay, let's let's do that one. We're going to get two. Oh, we're going to get a fibergrass griff blueprint as well. And we're going to learn some autophage words. Brilliant. And autophage standing. Yes, sign me up. I will do your mission. Okay, craft free solar mirrors. Is, is that what you want me? Just free solar mirrors. One, two, three. There you go. 
Done. Okay, return to the construct. Hello, buddy. I've got your solar mirrors, my friend. That's a simple swap. <laughs> okay, I need glass and I need some carbon nanotubes to create my first part of my own magic wand. You're having a freaking laugh, mate. Okay, sorry, what did I what did I need to craft that? I didn't pay much attention. Uh, glass and carbon nanotubes. Three carbon and nanotubes at that. Okay, three carbon nanotubes. And one pane of glass. Where are you, glass? Was it on the first bloody page or something? Did I miss it? There it is, glass there. I need frost crystal. I've got loads of frost crystal. I'm sure I have. Let me call in my freighter. One second. Bang. And uh, let's see if I've got some on my freighter that I can have down here. Uh, da -da -dun -dun. Frost crystal, frost crystal, where are you? Don't say I haven't got any frost crystal. I have got a load on my freighter that I can just go and pick. I am on a frosty world. I could just go pick it here, but nope, I've got some right there. Into my exosuit you go. There we are. Now I can craft as much glass as I blinking want. Or pretty much I could if I, yeah, kind of. Right, -o. so where do I craft this? Right here. Okay, we'll do that then. Well, that's that then. What, how do I use it? Okay, the strap of flexible resin, la 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 la. Okay, well, we've got it then. Okay, cool. I'm not too sure what I need to do now. Um, there's some there's some other phages I haven't spoken to. Hello, mate. You're right. I apparently have already spoken to this one. Okay, come out of there. Thank you for your time. I'm just going to up my hazard protection peeps. There we are. You're right, buddy. Don't don't look so dull. It's okay. Nothing's ever that bad. Pre-built entity. Hello, buddy. The construct stares at me organically. I'm going to give you some of this. Are you going to up my rating? Probably. Sweet. Okay. Cool. Yep. Increased. And how about you? Present a gift a spool of nano cable. Yeah, there you are. I have some of that. I didn't even know I had that. So you can you know, take it. Yeah. Lovely. We got two increases there. Okay, looks like with this now he's got a, a oh he's got a cannon on his shoulder. He's got one in his hand as well. He's cool. Okay, sweet. Okay, brilliant. Contribute disruptor. Ask about the fiberglass grip. Okay. Go on. The blueprint is an invitation. A pre-built entity. Uh, a disruptor. Sweet. Okay, yeah, they, they like calling me a disruptor. Technology man, many autophage, build own, construct own. Okay, I guess I'm building my own magic wand. Context, tone and gestures. Pick up a few new words. The grip schematic has been gifted. Seems to be part of an important multi-tool. A holy multi-tool. Okay, sweet. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay, fine. Sweet. Coolio. I think we're good and leave. Okay. Meet more of the autophages. Perhaps a complete fiberglass grip built in my own hands will make a positive impression on the next camp I visit. Okay, something popped up in the bottom corner really, really freaking quickly there and then disappeared. Construct the fiberglass grip. Let's see if we can make that come back up. Come on, come on back up. I, I need the mission. I need to understand what I'm bloody doing. All right, let's, um, the fiberglass grip blueprint is an unusual gift from the autophage forming part of the staff. Assemble the grip and present it to an autophage. Okay. Where are we doing this exactly? Well, there's the fiberglass grip. I've already got it. I've already, I've already constructed the dang thing. There it is. I've got it right there. Okay. Rank one reached. Lovely. I think something popped up just as I went into that menu. So who freaking knows what's going on now? Construct fiberglass grip. Done it, mate. Audience with an autophage. Already spoken to one just there. I think I've got to go to another blinking camp or something. It's now catching up with me. Look, it's put a green tick in that mission now. So maybe it might move the mission on. Sorry about the motorbikes going past. I've got my windows open. It's really hot in here. Meet more autophages in another system. Okay, let's do that then. Let's go do that. I figured that's what it was going to be. Take on off into the sky. And uh, let's engage the hyperdrive. And it's going to point me to a new destination. Eh? Brilliant. Over there. Let's go. And I guess now that I've got my multi tool on that's got all this lovely stuff in it, I should be able to pop another one of those beings. Lovely. 
job letter. Claudia, we're heading there now. What are we on time-wise? 25 minutes. I'm going to carry on because I think we might get both of these missions done in one, people. I've got a feeling we might, anyway. Back into game. Okay, cool, yeah. And uh, let's see what we can do. All right, so here we are. Show the completed fiberglass grip to an autophage. Okay, open the multi tool infantry and locate... Okay, I've got to get used to doing this. Have we got to recharge this back up again to do that? I guess we do. There we are, then. L3. Boom! There it is! Right there! We go into another autophage camp. And it does look like that's a very quick way of finding sentinel camps. Not that any of us really need any more sentinel ships, and we don't really need sentinel multi-tools. I don't know how we get the new multi-tool, though, the Atlantid multi-tool. And it looks like we're now building our magic wand, people, which will probably be what I titled this video. And hopefully, if I've got the magic wand, the thumbnail will be a picture of me holding my magic wand. OK, it looks like there's going to be a hidden camp by this thing, which is one of the drop pods, isn't it? The echo locator jargon. They could do with getting rid of that. If I don't want to use my echo locator, stop bothering me about it. You know what I mean, mate? You know? Freaking mentals. All right, well, let's hit up the scan. Yes! We've got some little guys just standing about here. Let's go and speak to the one with the logo above his head. Hello, chappy. He's got a big freaking shoulder-mounted cannon as well. There is a finette fair fierceness to this autophage they stare so intensely for a moment that i fear that they might strike me they appear to be evaluating something perhaps scanning my suit suddenly they relax whatever they were assessing seems to be satisfied with an outcome it's truth i did not the i see myself a disruptor here her is in shell show fiberglass grip go on it is made construct disruptor Ah, pre-built entity. I wish I knew more of their language. I see our values in build, own par. Do not supply comfort to. Repeat. Repeat values. Repeat conform. I don't know. In past, the autophage were different. Have learned. Are free like our disruptor. Do not conform. I, I need to know more of this language, people. It doesn't make much sense, does it? OK, we've been given a new mission. Hopefully it's as easy as the last one. We're going to learn some autophage words, autophage standing. And what else are we getting? Yes, we get another part of our, our rod. I wonder whether my rod is the same as your rod. OK, there we go. Let's see what we get. Locate lost autophage. Uh, right. Hmm. Is that the mission they've just given me? Repair lost autophage. Construct Lewis Planet Mesmer tend. Okay, the system has requested my assistance in repairing another autophage unit. They have provided me with the coordinates of the last known location. Okay, so I'm going to a location. There it is, over there. 32 minutes away. Bloody hell, that's a big dang saw type looking git, isn't it? All right, well, let's head on over. I'm just going to stick down a beacon here. I don't think I need it, just in case. All right, just so I can get myself back here, just in case anything goes c completely wrong. But what I would say so far, people, I've been playing this for a while. I haven't had a single bug. I haven't had a single crash. I haven't had nothing bad happen. So I think they've just released a bug-free update, unless I hear on other platforms that that's not the case. How the fuck did I get up that high? Just talking about weirdness. I only paused for a split freaking second. Now I'm like two days away. All right, fine, let's get down here then, and let's go to this. Pre-built autophage. Come on, come on, come on. I mean, that's where my beacon was, all the way over there. Paused for a second, people. All right, well, that was weird. But I don't know whether you can call that a bug. That's probably a feature. Who freaking knows? All right, let's head on down then, and let's see what this is all about. Approximate location. I think it's going to be at this crash spacious freighter site. I mean, it's kind of obvious, isn't it? This is the only thing that's here. So let's land here then. Plus, in the patch notes, it said that you're going to find things that crashed freighters. So here we are. And let's um let's see if this is the right place. Let's just uh, pop a scan then. There we go. Hello there, mate. I nearly got zapped by your flaming barrel. Hello. Salvage construct. Shell turns towards me. Does not seem alien. There you go. Have some of that. The gift. Yeah. I'm looking for a missing autophage, though. I don't know whether you're it. Lost autophage, target sweep. Oh, right, okay. 
So we are a little bit of a distance. So perhaps me thinking that this was the place to be, it's not the place to be. But at least we've got a little bit more extra standing. There's 300 odd ewes this way. All right, well, let's just go into the middle of yonder then and uh, see what we can find. 200 ewes this way. All right, cool. Do two ju double jumps. 200. Run, 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 run. Let my jetpack recharge. And Superman it over... Oh, fudging heck, I bumped into something just as I did that. There's something there. There's some sort of invisible blocking volume. I can't go any further. What the actual fudge? Okay, there's something invisible there. I was just saying there's no bugs. There freaking is. Unless there's something hidden here. I don't know what's going on. Let's scan again. That was weird. It was like there was an invisible staircase or something. All right, well, we're heading this way. 129 U's. I, let's just pretend that didn't happen then, shall we? Freaking what? Oh, weird. All right, 100 U's. I think we're going the wrong way now. We must have gone past it slightly. It's up this way. All right. Target's in range. Right here. Okay. I'll do a scan there. Oh, look, there's another little auto page sitting on something there. Pow, pow, pow. What do you got for us, mate? Defy the cult. Feed lost circuits at Atlantium. There we are. 11th. Okay, 11th. It just gave me 11th. The 11th. All right. Fine. Hello there. You look like Johnny Five that's been hit with a hammer. Rebuild entity. There you go. Present Radiant Shard. Hope you hope you like that because you know they're a little bit hard to come by those things. Sweet, the standing increased. Um, there's nobody else here. There's nothing else I need to do here, is there? Oh, there's there are. There's there's a couple of them. Hello, you comfortable, mate? Yeah, there we go. Nano cables. I made an image that looked just like this when I was doing some speculation of a little guy sitting in a chair like that. That's freaking mentals. All right, let's, um, let's talk to you as well. I might as well get... No, I've always spoken to you. I get... I want to speak to this one. I want to up my standing as high as I can. There you go. Lovely. All right, done. Um, return to Construct Louis, or whatever his name is. Well, my ship's a little way away. I'm just going to call in my ship. We're going to save ourselves a bit of time. It's over that way. I'm back where my beacon is. And that'd be that mission done. I'd, and then I'd have two parts of this pole. I think there's three parts to the pole going by the patch notes. So that's cool. I don't know, but I tell you what, reading those patch notes has really helped with what I'm doing. If you haven't seen the patch notes, I have a video on it. It goes on for about half an hour because the patch notes are freaking massive. It's kind of like an instruction manual that doesn't give you many instructions, but it gives you loose hints of what to do. If I didn't have those patch notes, I wouldn't have a blinking clue of how to get all this started. But it gave me some indications, places to start. It's like, you know, to get the pirate dreadnought, go to a pirate area of space, which I'm hoping that they expand that to all areas of space as random encounters. There we are. Let's head on down here then. Let's land. Maybe that maybe that's the case now that I've done the first one. Who blinking knows? Because I was hoping to get some frigates. I dismissed three of my frigates. OK, I've got to make him reappear again. There you go. I'm a real wizard, Harry. There you are. Chukaboo. Done. OK, I just need one microprocessor, which I can construct, I think, right now. Let's do that. Construct uh, microprocessor. Oh, I can't. I need some more carbon nanotube. Now I can. There you go. And I should be able to construct that now. So we've got two parts of our pole. I went and stuck it in my starship. Let's grab let's grab it from my starship. Let's put that over into my exosuit where the other piece is. Where are my bits of pole? There's one of them. Oh god, where's the other blinking one gone? It's all the way up there. There it is. Let's move that down. I just want to move it. I want to put it next to the other one. There you are. Let's put it there. What in heck? I swap them over. I really don't like this infantry system. I honestly don't. It's um, it's a pain in the neck. It needs an auto sort button. That's what it needs. Righto. There we go. We've got those in. So coolio. Uh, right. Ask Autophage about the scanner. Okay. Let's do that then. 
Do -de -de. Yeah, ask about Lantium Chamber. That's not the scanner, but there we are. That's what we're asking about now. And I don't really understand much, so I'm just skipping. It'd be nice if we learnt more of the language, wouldn't it? I'm going to encourage to move on to meet more of the autophages. This bean seems reluctant to finalise their assessment of me. Each Okay, great, so we've got to go to another camp. But each construct I meet, the sense of progression towards... Yeah, I, I'm getting that sense of... Yeah, that's all good. Okay, visited. Let's visit this one then. I haven't visited you yet, have I? Can I up my rating with you by giving you something simple? No, I can practice my language skills though. There we are. Yes, I'd like some dialect helps. Lovely, learnt a new word. Go cool. right, meet more autophages, fly up into space, and let's get that done then. Running out of some of this Atlantean type stuffage now. Come on, ship, let me in. Yeah, that's a bit weird. Take on up, let's fly on up into the sky. And hyperfrost. Dum 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 dum. Chikpa. Galactic map. Lovely. And we're jumping to our next location, which is over there. And again, jumping once more. And again. Holy fudge, this is taking me miles this time. And that's as far as I can go. But I don't know whether that's where I need to go. Hold on, that's Galactic Core. We don't want Galactic Core, we want current mission. Oh, great. There is no current mission. All right, well, let's come out of there then. What the fudge is going on? Okay. One second. That's what did that say? Go to uninhabited area of space. Did that is that what it said? Okay. Meet more autophages. Walk to an in to any inhabited system to search for an autophage. Okay. Any inhabited system. So I can just do one jump then. That's inhabited. We go there. It's a red system, so it's a cadmium system, but yeah, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. Sweet. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just reading something at the moment, people. Just a bit of the patch notes. Seeing if I can make sense of it. Just need to move my mic out the way. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, cool, yeah. Right up. Let's, um, let's see what we're doing now, then. Let's see if we can find this new system. Show the completed Atlantium chamber to an autophage. Okay, let's go into the old multi-tool again. Am I going to have to recharge this again? I am. I've got quite a lot. Oh, can I do it a little bit more? Get it up to 100%. There we are. And scan. Let's see what we find then. Anything? I don't know whether I did. Uh, okay. Oh, there we are. Boom. I had to press X on there. Done that wrong. Okay, cool, yo. We've got it locked in. Let's fly on over here then, people. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Pulse. No, I can't because the station's in the way. I'm surprised we didn't see the new stations coming, to be honest, people. That must be for the next update, whenever that is. I mean, there is a four part arc. I don't know whether this is part three of the arc and whether the expedition is going to be part four or whether we've got something else to come this year, which is part four. Yeah, I guess we have to wait till Sean does his, his list of whatever this update entails, where he says it's part three and four of the arc, or whether it's just part three of the arc. Okay, let's fly on down. Aha! I think it's taking us exactly to where we need to be, rather than approximate location. I don't like approximate location stuff. You know, we've got technology, it should find us exactly where we need to be, isn't it? Right, here we go, the scan. There we go, we've got a guy, we've got a guy. Hello there, guy, how are you, mate? Okay, he's a bit different from the last one. He hasn't got guns mounted to his shoulders. Divergent construct. Haraf. Tilts towards me. Lovely jubbly. Yes. Okay, cool. I'm just going to skip through because we don't know all the language. And it's just fragmented. Sweet. Let's just keep going. Uh, I'll go friendship. There you go. Star is auto ship friendship. Lovely, lovely. We've got a mission. And it's going to give us the final part of our staff, I'd imagine, people. Ooh, ooh, that looks cool. I, I said that I liked the one with the round bit at the top, but this looks even better than that one. Okay, what we got to do? What we got to do? Return to Divergent. Oh, okay. Um, I think we're already done, mate. Somehow I've already done your blinking mission, I think. No. Divergent Construct. 
Okay, right. I'm not too sure what I've got to do. It hasn't given me a marker, has it? Uh, let's just read the mission. Return to the planet Luciet in the Mosaic system. Notify Divergent Construct Haruf of your success and claim your award. Well, uh, okay. I'll do that again then, shall I? Oh, there we go. I have no idea what I did, but I did something. I've got to make superconductor now, people, to make that last element. Superconductor. What the fudge is that? I don't think I've made that before. Superconductor. Where, where is it? Captured nanode. It's not that. Is it? Oh, there we go. Chicka boom. I've got enough to make it. So that's so handy. That's handy dandy, isn't it? And then I can make that. There we are. I've got all three parts of the bloody staff, mate. I've got them. Got them. All right. Done. I guess I go talk to this guy again then. Hello, buddy. Divergent Construct Haraf watches me curiously. Ask about the transistor. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, last blueprint of staff. Yes, I kind of gathered. The multi tool. Yes. Where do I do it? How do I construct it? Autophage takes great care to speak clearly. Their efforts palatable. They fill the communication gaps with gestures indicating that I require a terminal to finalize the construction of my staff. Though these beings are obviously advanced, I have no sense of being or prejudged or scorned. Each autophage has, has conducted an apparent unbiased assessment and chosen to grant another blueprint. I like his leg with all the wires, the exposed wires. Divergent Construct regards me with caution and approval as we say farewell. Look at that leg. That's so cool. They're very awesome. OK, cool. Assemble the Volcanic scar Staff. Interface with an autophage synthesis companion. Oh, fudging heck! All right, I guess we're going here then. Ah, that, 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 exit menu. Exchange void motes, staff assembly. All right, let's do that then. Assemble. Boom. I've got three parts. Okay, let's put them in. Bosch. Bosch. And yeah, it's even in my color palette. OK, OK, OK. This is good. Uh, I've got a lot of repairing to do, though. I can fix that one. OK, let's compare. Let's let's do this. Take multi tool for free. Why the fudge not? I mean, I could put everything over, but I like this multi tool. Oh, my days. OK, how do I use it? OK, I can I can I can do melee with it. I, mean, I can zap with it. Is that is that it's mining beam, personal force field? OK. Bolt caster. It's just a it's just like a multi tool. You, it's you're not quite a space wizard. It's the same weaponry. It's the same weaponry. It's the same weaponry. It's just in a wand format. All right. Well, that's still quite cool. You know what? I might depackage all the stuff and put this as being my autophage locating multi-tool so it's got at least it's got a use okay well let's let's fix what i can in here anyway people i mean what i can do to get this completely fixed is i can go into options go into difficulty and i can put this into creative now you might not want to do this back at home you might consider this cheating but you know i'm just going to fix it all because why the fudge not it's going to cut me a few corners yeah there we go done and done and done and done, done, diddly done. OK, so that's that's pretty much all that fixed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the other multi-tool and I'm going to package out what I had in the old multi-tool, which is this one. So if I package this out and put that into my exosuit for a second. Can I, can I put this in? Okay, multi-tool. Let's try that again. Uh, store technology. There we are. Exosuit. I'll stick that down there. Multi-tool, package technology, store technology. I just want to put it in my blinking exosuit, mate. Yep, there we go. Chikapow. I've got that there as well at the moment. Personal refiner. OK, yeah, fine. Multi-tool. Uh, here we are then. Let's, um, let's swap out my multi-tool for the one that I had before, which is my magic wand. Magic wand. There we are. Exosuit. Scroll down. 
and let's uh, install that. I'll put that over by all this stuff. Oh, look, it already blinking has that one in it. It's already got that one in it. Polyphonic Cure. Cure. It's already got one, so I didn't need to take that out of there. Oh, well, that's OK. That's all good. And put this over next to the other one, which is the shell greaser. Put that there. In fact, let's put that on there so it gets boosted. Might as well. We've got our laser, optical drill. We haven't got the advanced mining laser, have we? Or is that it? Boosted cooling system. Mm, is that for that? Yeah, that just got an adjacency bonus anyway. Advanced mining laser. Let's have a look, see if that's there. Advanced mining laser. There it is. It should still be in creative mode. So there we are. Put that in. Why the fudge not? Done that. Okay. Well, I think we're looking pretty good at the moment. Um, I mean, I could put that. No, that's all fine. Let's just move that over by the rest of this scanner stuff. Might as well. And I, I put the. No, uh, can't. No point in putting the personal force field in there. Mm, bolt caster. I could put that on the boosted slot for now, just so it's boosted. Why the fudge not? There we are. That'd do. Blaze javelin. I don't like the blaze javelin. Blaze javelin can go. There we are, people. Um. So that's me starting to build out my awesome thing. Anyway, let's talk to this guy. Let's see if we can finish this mission. Staff, I think they're very proud to see me with the staff. OK, the autophage pauses. Their battered, corroded face stares directly into mine. They speak slowly and with gravity. I say the words disruptor. May this staff will... That, OK, I'm fine. The autophage looks uncomfortable. They make strange rasping sounds as though clearing their throat. Me, disruptor, I do not wish the voice of that entity. I say the correct words, may also find this staff will open that were before. OK, they were closed before, I guess. May know the entity already that the core backs. OK. Say these correct words, you may find this staff will open doors that were hidden before. OK, cool. Yeah, I kind of gathered that's what it does. I just put in the technology. You may know the entity already that the one the co co Corvacs worship. The autophage's metallic voice rings in my ears, the meaning of their words unmistakable. Something, a hunger, a longing tugs inside my chest. Every blink reveals an infinite field of crimson. Do you mean the Atlas, then? Is that what you mean? You mean the Atlas? Do I take this to the Atlas now? Is that is that pretty much the conclusion of this? I don't know. I don't know. 16, 16, 16! I think it is. I think I've got to take this thing and show it to the Atlas. Yeah! I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's what I'm going to do, people. An ancient voice is calling. A hidden gateway. Perform L3 to scan. All right. <coughs> Didn't expect it to happen right here, right now. OK. Trace successful portal ley lines detected. Are we going to go for a portal? Into the void? Is that where I'm going? Present Atlantium to a portal. Heck yes. Yes, we're going for a portal. I thought we were going to go see the Atlas, but I, I guess we're going for a portal. Present Atlantium to a portal. <laughs> OK, where's that marker? There's the marker. Is it off planet? I think it is. Maybe gateway detected on another planet. It's back on the icy planet or an icy planet, I should say, people. Oh, this is nearly an hour long episode. Aren't you in for a treat? I guess. Let's fly on down then. Down, down, down. Let's go on down. Gateway detected. Located. OK, well, that's there's no gateway here, mate. Um, let's have a look around, see if we can spot the dang thing. You know what? We might just have to go for the wall. Oh, no, look, there we go. I spotted it with my BDI peepers half tucked into a mountain. Ha <laughs> ha! Lovely, jubbly, jumping out the ship. Let me at it. Let me at it. I can't wait to get there. Oh, look, it's floating in the blinking air. All right, well, so I've got a bugged out one, have I? Fine. Yeah. The opposite side is where I need to go, and it's sort of like bugged into this rock. I don't think I've got a train manipulator built into my blinking multi-tool, have I? No, I don't got one. All right, well, let's put one in. Train manipulator, where are you? There you are. Sweet. OK. OK, train manipulate. Not that one. There we go. Let's dig out the rest of this. Yeah, you don't usually have to do this, people. This is a bit of a, a buggered up one. Dang it. 
Yeah, I kind of kind of would like to show you this at the better portal, to be honest, because here we are. The hunger inside my chest escalates near the portal. The structure demands my attention. The wind pulls me closer. Reveal Atlanteums. There we go. Something rumbles deep beneath the portal, but no voice rises in response. If there is any intelligence in this ancient technology, it is mute. Yet I have a sense of anticipation, as though some great force is poised to erupt. Um, I'm going to say Atlas. Recalling the fragments of the new Atlantid and the ancient Korvax log, I murmur the autophage word for Atlas. Oh, it's gone purple. The rumble glows louder. Something is awakening. Yield the staff. There you go. It sparks, sending a jolt through my bones. This is like in the patch notes. Chickaboom! It's activated. And it's all purpley. Is this how we get into the void, people? Is this finally how we go into the void? I'm walking into it backwards. There you are, because I'm like Michael Jackson. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm nothing like Michael Jackson. Yeah. Well, moonwalked, basically. That's, 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 that's about as close as it gets, to be honest. I mean, look at me. I'm nothing like Michael Jackson. Cool. So we're going through the, the portally, portally thing. Where are we going to end up? If this is a purple version of the Atlas, and it's the Void Mother, then I've probably hit the nail on the head. I'm in space. I'm going to die. Save me, Atlas. Save me. Atlas protocol initiated. Use echo... Oh, budget echo locator. Bullsh... BS below me there. Nearly swore. Okay. Okay. Um, hello. Hello. Uh, I'm hoping that I get proper mission in text in a second. Save me. Boom. I'm now inside of the Atlas. Lovely jubbly. God, it'd be easier if I could just take the ship, couldn't it, you know? All right, hello there, Atlas. It's me again. Yeah, I brought, I, brought a, I brought a staff. Look, it's lovely, isn't it? The Atlas is unknowingly unknowable, a mind too alien to comprehend. There is nothing to indicate it is even aware of my presence, and yet it seems inevitable that my path led here. I could not prevent it. I could not resist. There you go. Reveal Atlantium. Access denied. Non-index data detected. Cannot delete because data corrupted and unreadable. Push Atlantium closer. Yes. Put Atlantium away. No. I hold the ethereal substance towards the beaten core. Oh, there you go. It's gone purple. <laughs> is this now the Void Mother? Is this, is this it? Catastrophic systems failure. Alert, alert, 16 minutes, 16. Bolts of corruption swim across the crimson interface. The Atlas cries out. If it is capable of distress, it's capable of fear, then I think it must be afraid. Yet it has brought me here for a purpose. I'm going to watch. Yeah. I stare into the vast red orb. Images begin to take form. Okay. The Atlas shows me the lost intelligence of the Corvax Prime, thriving, falling, wait, waiting, blind and alone, her children stranded in the dark, rebuilding their own bodies from nothing, the autophage. It shows me the future and reality. I do not recognise wires loosened from their circuits, transistors failing, memories dissolving, disappearing like ink in water. The Atlas hurtles towards its own dark in time and space. I cannot begin to understand. It cries out. It demands compliance. All right, submit. Deleting non-index data. Cannot delete. Access denied. The Atlas is, is in all creation. The Atlas is everything. The autophage are children of the Atlas too. They must be, but why did they return from the dark? Why are they here? Choose hope. Are the autophage a manifestation of hope? The mother and the children are the void, are a proof of rebirth, of a second chance, of the performance, the, 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 the permanence of data in the face of erasure. The Atlas cries out again. Our comfort, yeah? The very existence of the autophage proves that there is hope, even when faced with the reality of death. I reveal the crystals again, trying to show there is nothing to fear. The Atlas is silence. I truly cannot know what it thinks, wherever it heals me. All I can know is my own mind. I am released. Sweet! Okay. And where is it going to plonk me? Is it going to put me back on the planet? Probably, people. Probably. Are we going to conclude this? We've been inside of an hour? Maybe. Maybe. It looks like we might do the double mission. Double whammy. And hopefully, I mean, I've, I've got the I've got the staff of wonder now. Yes, what I don't know how to do is get those lovely Atlantid 
the Atlantid multi-tool. Then again, I have just got myself a nice magic wand, so I shouldn't overly complain. At the same time, B, well, I also don't know how to build my own Atlantid autophage. There's a lot that I haven't done. I'd imagine we're going to have to keep finding these camps, running the different missions, and hope we either get parts for our new magic wand to assemble a different one, or whether we get to build out our own Atlantid robot. Okay, cool. I've arrived at Coated. There we go. Uh, there we are. We've completed the Atlas Whisper of the Comforted Affamable Mind. Lovely. So we've completed all of those. Consult with Nada. All right, people, let's let's do that. Let's hope that's the last step. Because, yeah, I don't like making videos that go over an hour. You know me. Let's just hope this is the conclusion to this penultimate story. But if not, we ended our last episode with Nada. We can end this episode with Nada, can't we? And then I, I might do a part three, if there is a part three. Or if this is the end. Let's let's find out, people. Let's fly on in. Lovely asteroid belt. Lovely background nebula. This game is beautiful. You've got to admit, this game has come a long way since it first came to being. Well, yeah, let's fly on in. Now yeah, let's see how we get on. Dun, dun, dun. Let's jump it out. Let's head on over. Exit in the ship. Sweet. Let's go and see Nada. Let's see if this brings this to its penultimate end. I say penultimate, it, it might be the actual end, you know, who knows. But I, I'm wondering whether they might give me one more mission because there's still stuff that we haven't managed to un uh, for uncover. Hello, mate, where's your textures? There they are. Go on, hello, buddy. Nada stiffens, looking at me with concern. Yeah, like your cape, it's very stiff. Are you well, friend entity? Tell Nada about the Atlas, I guess. <laughs> like my new pole, mate. Atlas falsity was afraid. Nada has not considered this possibility. Curious, but travellers should be very wary. wary. Atlas Fold's entity is a liar. Purple Lattice exists where it cannot. Challenges the Atlas Falsity. Proves it's not a deity. Nada always knew. But Nada had not realised. Do you have the Purple Lattice here? Reveal Atlantean! Nada takes the purple crystals, holding it gently in their palm. A shudder runs through their carpus, their facial lights blinking erratically. They are lost in some private emotion, some memory I do not interpret. She was home once. Okay. May Nada keep this, friend entity? Yeah, yeah, you can have a bit. May I, I can get some more. There's bundles of it. Nada is grateful. Thank you for this memory. The builder entities the purple lattice. Nada does not think there is a cause for fear. Not for us, for Atlas fals Falsity, perhaps. Nada's light blinks just once, and Nada does not quarantine our friendship. There is plenty. Make your path forwards, traveller. Make friends. It is your way. Nada and Paolo will always be here. Leave. There we go. Well, we've consulted with Nada. That'll make a nice little screenshot, won't it? Let's, um, let's do that. That's going to be my thumbnail, I think, people. Yeah, let's get Nada in the shot as well. Why the fudge not? Where can I put the text? I'll put it above Nada's head, I think. There we are. That'll be a nice little thumbnail. We'll upload that to the Twitterverse. Here we go. Twitterverse, here you come for thumbnail creation. Boom. So there we are. Done. I think I've already done it once. I wish I wouldn't update things. If it's not broke, don't fix it. There you go. Done. Dun, 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 dun. And I think that's the missions all done. I think that's the law done now. I think where it says go forth and make new friends, I think just finding autophages using my new magic wand, people. It's a lovely gifted thing, isn't it, this? Okay, so let's go to the log. Let's just make sure. Yeah, that's all the missions done. That's the law. That's the story. That's how you do it. Lovely. So if you want to see how to get this started, if you've watched this back to front, uh, yeah, you might want to hit up the video that I've put inside of this video. I think I've already put the link once. So I don't think I can do it again. You'll find it on my channel page. I've got an Echoes playlist. You'll find it in there, as long with all my other Echoes videos. But there we go, people. We've now got the poll. So I guess on my next video, I need to go and find myself another one of those Sentinel freighters, or outlaw freighters, destroy it, and hopefully get offered up some frigates, because I went and dismissed three of my frigates in my first episode, didn't I? So I've got that to do, so that might be the third video anyway. Anyway, people, hope you enjoyed this, and I hope it was enough to get your subscription and for you to hit all the buttons. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.